We're back at the boat for another day of work. Looks like beautiful blue clear skies. Everything is stripped out of here. The sides of the hull are just completely bared down. This is insulation. We're keeping this because we like having an insulated boat. But everything else is stripped down to the bare hull. Now the next project is to sand this entire bulkhead. Actually, sand the whole head. We're just taking all the white paint that we see, all of it's coming off because we need to get down to bare wood so that we can properly fiberglass this and make it a proper ship's head. Okay, so bunch of updates. We got the bulkhead and the head completely sanded. So it's stripped down. It was a very dusty job. And they're taping because the weather's supposed to be good tomorrow. So they're gonna do another coat of white paint on the boat. All right, so they're here and we're getting painted today. I'm not going to be sanding today because sanding creates a whole bunch of dust. And since we're outside and not tented, I don't wanna be contributing to the dust. And then we talked with a couple other cruisers in the yard and no one's sanding today. That way there's just no dust. This kind of puts the, the head work a day behind, but that's fine. Well, we've been waiting for this day for a long time and we're really excited. All right, so they are degreasing the boat, which means we need to go away from the boat. <laughs> and around 1.30 or so, they said they're gonna start shooting paint. So now we're gonna go hike a mountain because we can't be at the boat. Man. That hotel, such an eyesore. I mean, it would be so beautiful. And then that thing's just sticking out, ruining it. It's still beautiful. <laughs> Here, let me make this picture prettier. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, this is our path. We're here, we're gonna walk this little green path and then do this. Christmas, Maddie's parents got us these really cool backpacks that have water things in them so you can drink while you're hiking. And it's a squirt gun. <laughs> We're both very tired. And well, we've... this is gonna be very good for us. Yeah, it'll be good for us. And honestly, we should probably do this a lot more often to get the exercise that we're not getting otherwise. Yeah. But, whew. I didn't know they had deer here. We did not expect there to be deer here. I mean, how did they get here? And they look so different from the deer we're used to. So we're from Maryland where Deer are everywhere. <laughs> like they're like rats in a city that like that common. And these deer look really different. They kind of look. They almost look goat-like. Yeah. How on earth did they get here? They're probably brought over in a boat as a food source. Because mm. Puerto Rico had deer. Oh really? And they brought them so that people could then hunt them and eat them. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and then they actually got hunted to extinction because humans. So that's where we are, the signal station. Very cool. So apparently, this was a signal station from way back when, and it used flags to signal on top of the mast. So, kinda cool. It's really gorgeous here. And there's so many roosters somewhere, but we can hear them. And they can hear each other. And they're talking to each other. One's probably saying something like, Hello! And the other one's saying, I'm a rooster! And it's like, Me too! Random catch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So much bliss. Oh. No, he's coming with us. <laughs> this is our new cat. His name is Roger. I think it's a girl. Her name is Roger. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god! <laughs> Roger. Roger heard Maddie talk about the logistics of keeping her in the boat. Roger stayed behind. <laughs> Everything's looking and she's gorgeous, but now we're trying to find the place that we can record uh, the next how-to video Which should be out by the time this video is out about the correction on how to tie the alpine butterfly knot So the issue is we can't get into the boat because the paint's still wet So we're trying to find a place to film that's you know, no wind noise lighting We ended up we're in an old fort. I'm in the stairwell of an old fort. There's no wind noise there's not too much surf noise. It's the acoustics are okay-ish. And now we're gonna head back to this place that you can kind of sit there and chill and just like get an internet beer. And we're gonna do our work while we wait for the paint to cure because the boat got painted today. So we can't get in the boat today for a while. We've just been walking around. I'll say I am I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I'd love a bed to just relax in, but it's only one day. The vacuum died, our little shop vac died, and I tried greasing the bearings and it's just, it's, it's toast. So we're gonna see about getting a cheapo throwaway vacuum here that runs on 220. We can just plug it with an extension cord and get some food. Morning chores. Today we are gonna start by doing a little exploration of the gardens here. It's a really big garden just in the middle of the city of Angra. So let's see what it has in store for us. Experience. Yes. <laughs> Craziest thing. Back when I lived on the boat in Baltimore, the local West Marine, there was a, you know, the people worked there. And when Irving you... Irving became very close to the people who worked there because we, I was we went always there all there. the time. Yeah. And one of the friends who worked at West Marine was also a liveaboard in Baltimore. And they are renting a house from Scott and Grasa, our best friends here on the island. Yeah. And here we both are on this island in the Azores. <laughs> And they're renting the house for friends. Today we're being tourists again and we're going to the caves. We're super excited about it. And I'm sporting my new Rigging Doctor shirt, original design by me. And you can actually get your own among other awesome designs at teespring.com in the link in the description down below. We are taking a break from boat work and we're gonna go check out these caves on the island with some newfound friends that we made. Uh, their last name is my first name, spelled the same way. So, super cool. <laughs> well, <laughs> we tried to show our friends this view, but... <laughs> We are in a cloud. It's really cool. Okay, so the lookout was completely fogged over with clouds. So now we're heading to Wait, the caves. And there's a cow. It was Ooh, she got some big it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
is it? It's so claustrophobic. <laughs> So much more lush than I've ever seen. I mean, it's not a cave, but it has the feeling of a cave. So this is actually a lava tube. So this is the inside of a volcano, and this is where the lava used to just come out. And then after the and after the volcano went out, the lava just receded, and this is what's left. So this was the, the lining of the molten rock at one point. So I heard a tour guide saying that that is an oxygen bubble, which I can't picture, but it's amazing. <laughs> so the lava, it kind of went swoosh up to the left and then swoosh up to the right and couldn't get out. And then it went up through the hole. After being in this giant lava tube, we enter the little tunnel, <laughs> which we exit. <laughs> Alright, this is cave number two. We're going to the Christmas cave and um, it's supposedly very different. This one is actually a cave, whereas the other one was a volcano eruption. <laughs> Um, so this right behind me is Lagoa do Negra, the black lake. It's not my, it's more of a black pond. <laughs> Algar do Carval, the first cave we went to, is right here. And you can see the hole that we could see when we were in there. And then we went all the way across here. And this is where we are now. Gruta do Natal. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sound deadening quiet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of the arrows. Wow, okay, look. Okay, these striations here are called flow lines and they indicate the um, different levels that the lava was when during the creation of this lava tube.
cool. This oh, is this is the altar where they have Christmas services sometimes on Christmas Eve. And that might be why they call it the Christmas Cave. This is why the hard hat. <laughs> Wait, B, look up. <laughs> oh, whoa. Look at this. Looks like melted chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So this looks like it would be like muddy and just dirt, but it's actually just total solid rock that was molded this way by the lava that came through. Oh, cool. Okay, so the sides cool first and create a freestanding vertical remnant along the edge. Its height is increased by splashing and frothing. And the top is often irregular. The inside edge is typically smooth but may show grooves. Look, we can see the little lava bubbles. Isn't that neat? Kind of yeah. small here. Oh. Uh, Mads. I can't see if I have clearance. <laughs> oh no, I hit. <laughs> this is why the hard hats. <laughs> Great to get low in the car now. <laughs> well, that was awesome. I loved how natural it was. There were a few places where they had put in some steps, but other than that, it was like we were walking right on the floor of the um, of the lava tube. So it was really cool. Hello. Hello. Hey, this is Tim from Lady K. How are you guys doing? Hey, Tim. What's up? Okay, this took a lot more epoxy than I was expecting. It's just really impressive to be out there and just watch just the power of the seas. I've been working really hard these past couple days to really get in and rid the boat of as much mold as I can. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.